Bengals fans, it is finally time. At long last, the Cincinnati Bengals are ready to take the football field for their first regular season matchup at home, at Paycor Stadium, at the jungle, against the New England Patriots. After all the talk, the speculation, finally, it's time to play some real meaningful football. With that, welcome into Bengals Breakdown. I am your host, Stone Shields. Thank you so much for joining us as we take a look at a little bit of a preview between the New England Patriots and the Cincinnati Bengals on today's show. Just a little heads up, if you see me looking down, just bear with me as um, I'm doing a little bit of a solo producing here today. So trying to do multiple things at once, so appreciate you guys being flexible and bearing uh, with me throughout the process. But we're going to take a look at some things to watch for uh, during the Bengals' week one opener against the Patriots. That's going to be the focus of our show today. But before we get into that, I want to invite you guys to hit that sub button if you haven't done so already, we are trying to beat our September 2023 um, subtotal. And as you can tell, we need about 977 subs here in order to do that. I've got confidence we can do that because we got plenty of watch parties here in the month of September. So we should be able to hit that number. So help us out. Hit that sub button, youtube.com slash Bengals TV, all um, Bengals news and rumors will be here on the channel, so don't miss out on that. Help us out. Help yourself out, too. Hit that sub button for us right now. All right, before we get into what exactly to watch for, I want to go through the injury report from Thursday. Um, Jermaine Burton had a, you know, dealing with a toe issue. He was a full go at Thursday's practice for the Bengals. Um, Jamar Chase, um, he doesn't have an injury, but they're kind of just easing him into things. As you can tell, he was limited. Again, his status for Sunday at this point of filming, as of filming, is um, still up in the air at this point. Uh, T. Higgins, um, this is not good. You see he is limited with a hamstring issue. I mean, hamstring issues are just the worst because they tend to really linger um, throughout the season. So that's something you're a little bit concerned with about T. Higgins. Hopefully, you know, it's all just precautionary and that hamstring will be good to go. Um, on Sunday, but that is certainly noteworthy that T. Higgins found his way on this list. Of course, Amarius Mims dealing with that pec issue. Um, he was limited in practice as well, and Chris Jenkins, Bengals' second-round pick, dealing with a thumb issue, and he was limited. Joe Burrow's name uh, still pops up on the injury report, of course, coming back from uh, that wrist surgery, but um, hopefully this is just a formality because he's been a full go pretty much all off season. So uh, hopefully once the season gets underway, his name will be removed from this list. But again, Joe Burrow was a full go at Thursday's practice. And speaking of Joe Burrow, that's the main thing I'm looking for. I know it's pretty basic, but look, we haven't seen this guy play in a minute, right? After he missed a good chunk of last year with that wrist injury. I want to know how's he going to look. Is he going to remind um, us of the Joe Burrow of old? Shoot, is he even going to look a little bit better? Than last we saw him at his peak. Um, that I think we're going to find out rather quickly after you know he makes a couple throws, leads the Bengals, um, you know, down to the field for a touchdown. Perhaps scrambles for a first down, gets up, does his classic point. That'll be a sign to us. Okay, he's back. And um, for whatever reason, people in the media have forgotten about this guy. You talk about all these elite quarterbacks throughout the league. People seem to forget about Joe Burrow. I know he's eager to. Prove to the league and to himself and his teammates in the city that um, you know he is still one of the best, if not the best. And I'm looking forward to see how he looks on Sunday as the season gets underway here for the Bengals against the Patriots. Which uh, that leads us to the pin comment of today's video. Does Joe Burrow return to form? Just keeping it basic. What do you guys think? Type Y for yes, type N for no in the comment section. Again, it is the pin comment of today's show. So if that ad comes here on YouTube, it's totally fine. Take advantage of it. Get down in the comment section and let us know what you think. Next thing I'm looking for is the interior of the defensive line. How are these guys going to play, right? Because if you have a quarterback in Jacoby Brissett, who, uh, of course, is going to be starting for the New England Patriots on Sunday, you know, he's not a top-tier quarterback. He's been pretty much a backup for most of his career. And, you know, it's not a shot at Brissett. Very good backup. But they're going to be looking to run the football. I think a lot of teams are going to be looking to run the football against the Cincinnati Bengals. And, you know, the interior of that defensive line, there's a lot of question marks there. And, um, you know, when you talk about guys like Sheldon Rankins, you know, he is certainly a new face. B.J. Hill is back. 
And then, you know, you had some youth there with, you know, um, guys like uh, Chris Jenkins Jr., who you took in the second round, you know, uh, J2 Fele is another guy that's in the mix. So um, it'll be interesting to see how those guys play. Zach Carter as well certainly going to have to step up for the Bengals. That's the group I am most worried about for Cincinnati going into 2024. And I think the Patriots are going to try to kind of exploit that group and really just run right at them. So we'll see how they do and if they can kind of hold up things on their end. Another thing I'm looking for is Zach Taylor and his aggressiveness, okay? Um, this is a game that once the game ends, I want to you know, be able to say that, oh, Zach Taylor was clearly the better coach in this game. He's facing a rookie head coach in Gerard Mayo who has been a great assistant in uh, New England, was a great player as well. But um, I'm very high on Zach Taylor. I know not all Bengals fans feel that way, which to me is a little crazy, but um, I am incredibly high on Zach Taylor, and I have a lot of confidence in him. But uh, I want to see him be aggressive early. Again, the Bengals are eight-and-a-half-point favorites. They're clearly the better team on paper in this matchup. they got to go out there and be aggressive, execute, do what they do. And that starts uh, with the head coach setting the tone, and I really hope that Zach, Zach Taylor can do that on Sunday. So what is your confidence level in Zach Taylor? Scale it for us in the comments section. One to ten. Again, I'm very high on him. I always have been, even, you know, when he was first getting here, the Bengals weren't winning any games. He seemed like the perfect fit uh, in my eyes to be the head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals. So I've always had a lot of confidence in uh, Zach Taylor. And, um, you know, I hope this year that confidence just continues to grow. And I hope more people that are Bengals fans and more people in the city of Cincinnati kind of come on over to that side and recognize that this team is great because of Joe Burrow and, you know, Jamar Chase and T. Higgins and all these guys. They're also great because of Zach Taylor. So sound off for us in the comments. Before we continue with our little preview here of what to watch for Bengals Patriots, I want to give a shout out to our friends over at Game Time. Because today's show is presented by Game Time. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. Game Time Picks is the easiest way to find and buy tickets to live events. You can also get ready for football season with Game Time and get tickets to watch the Cincinnati Bengals. My two favorite features on Game Time. First up, the all-in pricing. Toggling this feature shows the total up front with no surprise fees at checkout. And I also love the views from your seat. Get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with our friends over at Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Again, terms apply, but create an account and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? It's Game Time. Another thing I am looking for for the Cincinnati Bengals is the running game. Um, look, it's probably going to be running back by committee. We've talked about that a lot. The depth chart that the Bengals put out, um, Zach Moss is uh, running back one on that list. But uh, I, I've got a lot of high hopes for what Chase Brown can do as a, as a football player, second-year player, fifth-round pick for the Bengals. And I think he's going to have a really solid year for Cincinnati and at some point I think he's gonna really take the you know bull by the horns there and really become the Bengals lead back but I think Zach uh, Moss isn't really getting a ton of credit and a ton of recognition at this point Zach Taylor has spoken about how he thinks the running back room has kind of been being undervalued uh, the outside perception of the running back room is that they're not that good and um, you know Zach Taylor is looking forward to, you know, proving people wrong this year in terms of running the football. And I think Joe Burrow's got a lot of confidence in the run game as well. So I want to see that get going. I want to see the Bengals, um, you know, really be able to establish the run in this game against the Patriots. And, um, look, if you're going to win in the playoffs, you got to be able to run the football. Everybody knows that. So uh, might as well get it going in week one. So certainly going to be watching the running game in this matchup. Last thing I'm looking for, are the rookies going to make any impact? Obviously, none of them are going to be starting, besides Ryan Rico, the punter. But is Jermaine Burton going to find his way into the game? I don't think so. I don't think he'll get any meaningful snaps, but we'll see. guy like Josh Newton, they bring him out for in that cornerback position. 
for Lou Anarumo to potentially get some run out there with the Cincinnati defense. Amarius Mims, does he ever slide in? Um, you know, I know he's been limited in practice, but is he going to be good enough to go on game day? And is there a situation where something happens to Orlando Brown or Trent Brown, he pops in there as the Bengals' first-round pick? You know, is Chris Jenkins dealing with that thumb injury? Is he going to be a guy that could potentially make an impact for Cincinnati? Cedric Johnson on the defensive line there, sixth-round pick out of Ole Miss. Does he get in the game? You know, Dejon Anthony, seventh-rounder, has gotten some looks in dime packages for the Bengals. So does he find his way into the game? I would be surprised if none of the rookies, you know, got a qu uh, some quality reps in this game. Who's it going to be? That's going to be the question. Hopefully we don't see a lot of Ryan Rico unless he's out holding extra points. Hopefully he's not punting the football too many times. But, um, you know, we've talked at length about the rookies a lot on this show, and I'm interested to see if any of them are going to have an impact. So there you have it. Those are my five things that I'm watching for. Again, Joe Burrow just really want to see what he's going to be able to do out there on the football field and if he just reminds us who he is on um, Sunday. That's certainly going to be the number one so prediction time, I got the Bengals winning this game, of course. Um, got to start out this season on the right foot. Bengals have had a tendency, even when they've been good through this Joe Burrow era, of not starting off strong. That needs to change here in 2024. They got a favorable matchup. Again, New England's a pro professional football team, but they might be the worst one. So it's definitely an advantageous matchup for the Bengals in this one. It's something they need to take advantage of. Uh, right away, because obviously we know what's coming week two, uh, heading over to Arrowhead Stadium and playing the Kansas City Chiefs. But I had the Bengals winning 27-13. to um, I think they really kind of distanced themselves from New England in the fourth quarter and um, walk away with the victory at home in this one. But we will be live for our watch party, so do not miss that. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. And uh, just excited for Bengals football to finally be back. Who day, baby?